Hello, students. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. So uh, today, uh, that day, uh, we have uh, completed uh, the uh, meiosis cell division. Okay. Uh, today I'll uh, uh, I'll show you one that uh, video on Hello. You can. Hello, hello, students. Yeah, but no, sir. now uh, you can uh, you can see if, uh, one video, okay, on the meiosis. How does it is taking place? So I'll show you one by one and explain you the steps that it is. See here. I say uh, this is. Okay, I'll go a little bit back. Yes. See, this is, this is the, uh, these are the chromatin, all right? This is the portion of the nucleus is being shown. This, uh, this is structure, what you can see, this flower-like structure actually, these are the pores in the nuclear membrane because the nucleus is the nucleus is uh, it is uh, already the nuclear membrane is intact and these are the nuclear pores this nuclear pores are made of eight pairs of uh, this uh, protein a special type of proteins uh, they make the pore so these are actually the pores that all over the nuclear membrane. And this here, this blue thread-like structure, tangled mass, this is the chromatin, which will make the chromosome. So see, gradually this is changing and you can see the condensation. Say this is getting condensed, okay? And after getting condensed, you can see that this, these are now as a chromosome and two chromatids are there, okay? See, as the time pass, this is, yes. Here, you see that the, now the chromosomes are distinct, 
okay and in each chromosome two chromatids are there so this is a this is towards the liptotin in the prophase 1 towards liptotin liptotin that each chromosome though here it is showing very distinct and thick but the chromosomes are very thin and long okay maybe two chromatids may not be visible but here it is showing that they are visible next step that after the chromosome appear okay this chromosome they will pair that is the zygotin stage see the chromosomes are moving and they are coming close to each other here the in each chromosome two chromatids are there these are the centromere this is centromere centromere holding the chromosome this one and this one are uh, similar in size uh, and they are the homologous chromosome these two are homologous to each other these two are homologous to each other say each pair of homologous chromosome undergo synapsis to form a complex involving pair of sister chromatid so the synapsis process is going on next here you can see that the chromosomes are moving this is that you can say this is synapsis that uh, the homologous chromosome have paired they have come very close to each other next step that will be the crossing over in the diplotin say okay here you can see that the exchange has taken place they are exchanging the segment okay the blue one has joined with the it is getting the red one is it and the red one is getting its blue tip here also you can see that the exchange so this is the packeting stage when there is a, in each bivalent this is bivalent because uh, two homologous chromosome and in each chromosome there are two chromatid so there are four chromatid this stage we call the tetrad and at the tetrad stage of the packeting this crossing over takes place next recombination or crossing over so the sister chromatids for each chromosome are no longer identical it is showing their chromatids and now what is showing say till now you were observing that the inside the nucleus inside the nucleus and only the chromosomes were being shown but now it is the entire cell and the nucleus will be shown this one this green portion this is the nucleolus so nuclear membrane is there nucleolus is there and next that the nuclear membrane will disorganize say here this centrosome centrosome is splitted into two centrioles and they are moving to the opposite pole this is the whole of the nucleus and say that the centrioles are moving to the opposite pole they have moved to the opposite pole is that and by that time the nuclear membrane is vanished nuclear membrane has disorganized around the centriole this thread like structure has come out these are the spindle fiber 
and all these small one is that some are big big are the spindle fiber and those small small one they are called astral rays so the uh, centriole have reached to the opposite pole and this is that the it happens towards the dikinesis okay so spindle fibers are fully formed and the bivalent now see this bivalent chromosomes they are attached to the spindle fiber at the cent uh, at the centromere now this is just starting the metaphase stage this chromosome bivalent they are at the equator in one pole is it right? they are at equator at one pole uh, sorry at one line this is the equatorial plane and if we compare with the mitosis in mitosis one one chromosomes were arranged in the along the equator but here the bivalent paired chromosomes are arranged along the equator next see now it is say the bivalent so this chromosome homologous chromosome they are separating okay and this is the beginning of as the chromosome separated means the beginning of the anaphase anaphase has started so during anaphase this chromosome will move to the opposite pole so here in the meiotic anaphase 1 meiotic anaphase 1 homologous chromosome have separated right and they are moving to the opposite pole and each chromosome is with is still with two chromatids say now this is anaphase going on anaphase 1 and now when it has reached to the opposite pole this is this will be a start of the telophase 1 the chromosome is near to the opposite pole okay this is <clears throat> now spindle fibers have been lost and this is this cytokinesis taking place in the animal cell it is by cell furrowing this is <coughs> cytokinesis has taken place and two daughter cells have produced after the end of telophase 1 here is the centri centrosome centriole so now these two cells these are the product of the meiosis 1 <coughs> these two cell will divide by second meiosis <clears throat> two cells now undergo meiosis 2 okay see now again in the meiosis 2 also there will be prophase 1 a uh, prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 so the this uh, nucleus uh, nuclear membrane will be will disappear nucleolus will disappear this centrosome will divide into centrioles and they will you can see the step this is like the mitosis the second step meiosis 2 is like mitosis say so, uh, the centriole so they have divided and moving to the opposite pole nuclear membrane disappeared 
and say the chromosome have arranged along the equator. Now not bivalent, each one and it is almost it is nearing the metaphase say because they uh, by near uh, by metaphase all the spindles should be fully developed till now it is not yet developed uh, fully so it is just a transition towards the metaphase too This is metaphase two. Chromosomes are at the equator, and after that, will be will start the anaphase two. Yes, anaphase. I see the chromatids have separated, and the sister chromatid they are moving to the opposite pole. This is anaphase two. They are reaching to the opposite pole. So started the telophase, then cytokinesis. And after cytokinesis, two cells are getting separated from each nuclear membrane is fully developed. So that this so this four daughter cells have produced these daughter cells are haploid in nature. Okay and they will make the gamete in case of animal if they are, they are these cells are produced by the male they will form the sperm and if by female they will form the ovum or egg of course in case of in case of mammalian gametogenesis in female that is oogenesis only one cell developed into egg. This is four haploid cells are there. Okay. Okay, now uh, now we will solve the question based on meiosis. Okay, uh, let us the first question. The first question, the type of division that ensure the production of haploid phase in the life cycle of sexually reproducing organism is, what is that? Which ensure the development of haploid phase? This haploid phase come from by the cell division that is meiosis, is it? Next question, in meiosis, the chromosome number, meiosis in meiosis, chromosome number is reduced, okay? Particularly in the first meiosis. Meiosis one, the chromosome number reduced, but reduced to how much? By what quantity it is by half. In half. Okay, so reduces by half. Next question or some question. It is typed. Can you read it clearly? The question.
say the type of division that in zero okay this one we have already already done uh, next meiosis the chromosome number is reduced by this one already done it is meiosis reduces by half the same question that we had done okay meiosis occur in the organism during vegetative reproduction sexual reproduction both a and b or d none of the above which one meiosis occur in organism during sexual reproduction yes during this because of the vegetative reproduction the vegetative reproduction is carried out by mitosis cell division because in the vegetative reproduction the genetic character of the offspring is not changed it forms the clone okay so it is meiosis occurred during sexual reproduction 51 number question meiosis involve two stages of okay that's called as meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in a single cell okay two stages of cell division or two stages of nuclear division is it two stages of nuclear division called as meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 uh, no 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 here it is uh, not only nuclear division no this one cell division two stages of cell division meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in a single cell two stages of cell division this is complete cell division okay two stages of cell division that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 not this one okay next is meiosis involves say this uh, two questions uh, they have a little bit different meiosis involve two sequential cycle of nuclear and cell division how many cycle of dna replication are required in meiosis two cycle of nuclear division two cycle of nuclear yes this question in this question the answer of this one is there okay you better option is not this one cell division nuclear division so d we can answer this one okay both a and b when cell division as well as nuclear division in this question this question number 52 the answer of this 51 has been uh, given okay so this uh, keep this one we have to select the most appropriate one sometime the uh, sometime the uh, in a question in options we may get that two options are correct or Uh, more than two options or uh, maybe three options all are correct but which one is the base that we have to answer so here it is both a and b okay 52 this has uh, meiosis has uh, two cycles of nuclear and cell division how many dna replication cycle say in meiosis dna replicate once 
DNA replicate once, but nuclear division is two. Two nuclear division. Division and cell division. So answer is this one. One. Okay, C is the answer. Fifth three. At the end of meiosis two, number of haploid cell formed are. These are easy question. That is four daughter cells. So we get longest phase of meiosis is the longest phase of meiosis is the prophase one. Okay, prophase one is the longest phase of meiosis because in the uh, that is why the prophase one has been divided into leptotene, digotene, mm, pachytene, diplotene, and dikinesis and there are very important events that takes place that is the crossing over now here the question number 55 given Hmm. Here, given below the uh, representation of certain event at a particular stage of type of cell division, right? There is a type of, uh, these are the drawing has been given. Uh, which is this stage? What is that stage? Uh, these two diagram that has been shown, this is uh, what is the stage? Here options are prophase one during meiosis, prophase two during meiosis, prophase of mitosis, both prophase and metaphase of mitosis. So this is not from the, not from mitosis. This is so, this is not from mitosis. And this one, prophase two during meiosis. See here what has been shown, these two are the homologous chromosome. And here it is pairing and crossing over is shown. Is it? Crossing over is there. So crossing over takes place in the first meiosis. So it is the prophase first during meiosis. Gigotin of prophase one is characterized by in gigotin. What happened? Gigotin, what is the main event that takes place in the gigotin? Yes, in the gigotin, what happened? Jagatin? Dynaptimil complex. Yes? Dynaptimil complex. In Jagatin, this one, say, in a leptotin, the chromosome appears. Okay? And in Jagatin, chromosome pair. That is called the synapsis. Is it? And this synapsis is carried out by a complex that develop that is known as synaptonymal complex. <clears throat> okay. Synaptonymal complex. <clears throat> Crossing over Packetin, this is crossing over. <coughs> that is exchange. Rishabh.
next question synaptonemal complex is formed during so same question this is the way zygotin is that Uh, it uh, remain up to this uh, up to packetin uh, stage and then diplotin diplotin and diakinesis these two are the terminalization here chiasmata that is crossing uh, crossing over that uh, as mata developed so they start moving apart and this is terminalization so these two phases are the moving away All right, synaptonemal. Which of the following event does not occur during zygotin? Formation of synaptonemal complex, pairing of chromosome, appearance of bivalent, involvement of recombinase. Which one does not occur during the zygotin? Hmm? Hello. Please try to answer. Appearance of bivalent. No, uh, see, uh, one thing it is, uh, it is the formation of synaptonemal complex is the, that uh, what I told when it pairing takes place, this is by synaptonemal complex. So pairing of chromosome takes place and this is uh, during this uh, this synaptonemal complex also form okay and when the appearance of bivalent means the paired chromosomes are known as bivalent paired chromosomes they are called bivalent okay so appearing the bivalents are also appearing. All the three things happen. But involvement of recombinase, this thing is not there. Recombinase is the enzyme. This is an, this recombinase is the enzyme that mediate or catalyze recombination enzyme for recombination okay so this is an enzyme and recombination takes place that is the crossing over that takes place in the packeting stage next stage so our answer will be D that this one does not take place. All the three things actually zygotin is pairing, paired chromosomes are bivalent. So bivalents appear and this uh, it takes place through the synaptonemal complex. Next is Next question. Okay. In a cell cycle, crossing over occurs at Crossing over occurs at single strand stage, two strand stage, four strand stage, eight strand stage. Say, crossing over takes place when? In the packeting stage. And in that stage, 
that each chromosome having two chromatids. So, and uh, there are two chromosome, homologous chromosome that pair. So there are four uh, strands. So that is what we call the tetrads condition. Is it? So it is at the four strand stage. Crossing over takes place at four strand stage. In diploid organism, next question, question number 16. In diploid organism, phenomenon of crossing over is responsible for by crossing over, uh, what happened? Crossing over is the main reason behind the variation. That is the rearrangement, resuffling of the gene. Okay. Gene resuffle, rearrange. And uh, so this variation is uh, developed. A deployed a linkage between the genes, a recombination between homologous genes, segregation between genes, the dominance of genes. This is due to the, in the deployed organism, crossing over is the recombination between homologous chromosome. Okay. This is gene recombination and this will lead to the variation variation and variability that is the basis of evolution next question which of the following shows the diplotin stage of cell cycle which of the following is the diplotin stage of cell cycle Diplotin is what happened during the diplotin after the crossing over, uh, crossing over has taken place the homologous chromosome start separation and we can see the chiasmata separation of synapse to homologous chromosome except at the site of crossover no? So that site of crossover is the chiasmata. Degeneration of nucleolus, no, but degeneration of nucleolus, it can take place after that also. Chiasmata shift towards the chromosome end, all of the above. Towards it is the degeneration. Yes. This is, uh, of course, uh, this takes place and crossing over chiasmata shift towards chromosome end. This is further terminalization. The degeneration, of course, uh, this as the as it uh, grow. It is towards the so most of, uh, important is this one. Chiasmata shift towards the chromosome end. No, uh, chiasmata shifting of chiasmata towards the chromosome end is terminalization, that is the diakinesis. You take this one, separation of synapse to homologous chromosome except at the site of crossing over. Okay, next question, that is the 62, process of crossing over occur between sister chromatid, no it takes place between non-sister chromatid, so non-sister chromatid of the homologous chromosome, okay? Non-sister chromatid of homologous chromosome. Next, during the packeting stage in crossing over, the exchange of genetic material occur between 
same thing, same question, 62, 63. Similar, it is two non-homologous chromosome. No, during packeting stage in crossing over, the exchange of genetic material occur between the crossing over always between the homologous chromosome. Is it? So non-homologous chromosome, no. Two homologous chromosome, this is true. Sister chromatids of homologous chromosome, no. Non-sister chromatids of non-homologous chromosome, this is also not true. Non-sister chromatids, but it should be homologous chromosome. Okay, so our answer will be this one. So you may get confused with this uh, option that non-sister chromatid. It, it takes place between non-sister chromatids. Here we have given answer that non-sister chromatid. But at the same time, it is written here non-homologous chromosome. So this is not a crossing over. Next question, the enzyme involved in the process of crossing over is, already I have told that recombinase is the enzyme which carry out the recombination, that is the crossing over. Then the except structure observed during the diplotid are the X type of except structure is called chiasmata. Is it? This one, say you can lightly, you can see the diagram. Dikinesis is marked by, dikinesis is the last stage of the prophase one. Is it? So here the terminal, uh, terminalization of the chiasmata takes place degeneration of the nucleolus takes place, fully condensed chromosome, yes, chromosomes are fully condensed, all of the above. So this one will be the answer, that all of the above. Next is, Next question, when parental, when the parental and maternal chromosome exchange, paternal and maternal chromosome exchange, their genetic material with each other in cell division. This event is called chromosome exchange, they are genetic material with each other in the cell division. This is that crossing over, is it? The homologous chromosome, that the two homologous chromosome, okay? That uh, two homologous chromosome, these two homologous chromosome, one is from the father, side and one from the mother side and there is exchange of the their part okay so this is as in the sexual reproduction what happened what is we can see happen that externally no that the two uh, two parents they have to, uh, this male, female, they have to come close and then unite and exchange. The similar thing happen within the cell when the cell is going to produce the gamete. That is the chromosome also from the mother and the father. They also unite, they are doing the cell division and exchange their part. Crossing over. Uh, then next is 68. 
select the incorrect matched pair. Incorrect matched pair is same. Any uh, yes, D. D sir. D. A animal cell persistent spindle reduction division is meiosis one is the reduction division. This is correct. Equation meiosis two is equational division. It is correct. Crossing over is the it takes place in between the non homologous chromosome. And here written animal cell persistent. Persistent spindle is nowhere. In none of the cell that spindle fiber is persistent. The spindle fiber only occur during the cell division. Okay, so this is A. Next question, this one is a given three diagram, okay? They identify given figure showing meiotic phases and select the correct option. What are the these options given? A, B, C. Here A, B, C. For A, B, and C options are A of A. That option number, if we write one, two, three, four, then it will be first one is this is say this is a metaphase actually here the diagram should have been little bit this chromosome should have been little bit closer then it would because here it is showing the bivalent is it bivalent are along the equator so this is the metaphase this one is this is anaphase one Metaphase one, anaphase one, and this one, the chromosomes, uh, they have reached to the opposite pole, nucleus has formed, uh, nucleolus has formed, so two daughter nuclei have formed. So it is the telophase. Metaphase, this, uh, see, the, in the option one, they have written metaphase, anaphase, telophase. But not mentioned this if you give this one as the answer, then it will be from mitosis. But this is not mitosis, this is meiosis. So this is metaphase one, anaphase one, and telophase one. So our answer will be this one. Next is 70 splitting of centromere. A splitting of centromere and hence separation of chromatid occurs during during the anaphase two of meiosis. Say in the anaphase one, this centromere does not divide. It is only the homologous chromosome divide. So chromatids, each chromatids with two. Uh, each chromosome with two chromatids remain. So in the only in the second anaphase that the centromere divide and chromatid separate. Next 71 significance of meiosis lies in meiosis. What is the significance of meiosis? Here given reduction all of, the above. all of the above. Okay. The reduction of the chromosome number by one half. This is correct. Maintaining consistency of chromosome number during sexual reproduction. So chromosome number is maintained in the different generation organism of the successive generation in the sexually reproducing organism. This is maintained due to this meiosis, production of genetic variability. It due to this, that crossing over takes place and random shuffling of the chromosomes. Okay. So this all, it can produce the genetic variability. 
So all of the above are the significance of meiosis. Here, one question, arrange the following event of meiosis in correct sequence. Crossing over synapses, terminalization, disappearance of nucleolus. Which one will come first? Save. First will be here, out of this four, first will be synapses, is it? That is, this one will be first. So, number two. After synapses, then only crossing over takes place. So, then next is number one. Then terminalization of chiasma, that is number three will come and disappearance of the nucleus, we can say the last one. So our two, one, three, four. This is, this was asked in CBSC IAPMT. AIPMT 2015. Next question. Cells having 20 bivalent. Okay. 20 bivalent means you understand? 20 bivalent, how many chromosomes? Means 20 bivalents means 20 pair of chromosomes. Okay. 20 bivalent is equal to 20 pairs of chromosome. And then calculate the number of chromatid in each nucleus after meiosis 1. In each nucleus, how many chromatids will be there? 80. In each nucleus, say here, the, uh, this is the mother cell, mother cell divide into two daughter cell. Is that two daughter cell? If here, this is the first meiosis. First meiosis and in the first meiosis is a reduction division. Here the chromosome number reduced by half. So if here 20 bivalent means how many? Means 40 chromosome, 20 pairs. Is that? So here 40 chromosome. Here will be how many? 20 and 20 in the daughter cell after the first meiosis, 20-20 chromosome will be there because the homologous chromosome, they will move to the opposite side. So if 20 chromosome and each one is having two chromatids, so 20 chromosome will have two into 20 is equal to 40 chromatids. Calculate the, here it is, calculate the number of chromatids in each nucleus after meiosis 1. So, each nucleus will be 40. But, after, if this one will divide further, Then here chromosome number will be same, 20, 20, 20, chromosome number will not change, but their chromatid number will change. Because here in the second meiosis, chromatid separates. So each chromosome will have here one chromatid. So here 
after second division only 20 chromatid 20 chromosome and 20 chromatid so after first division it is 40 chromatids next at nfs1 each chromosome has NFS1, each chromosome has dash chromatid. Still, because chromatid does not separate, after NFS1, each chromatid will have two chromatids. Chiasmata form that diplotin. Is that? A packet in crossing over. NFS one is represented by NFS one is represent separation of sister chromatids. No, separation of homologous chromosome. Yes, this one. Uncoiling of sister chromatids. No coiling of non-sister chromatids. This one that separation of the homologous chromosome. Next, meiosis. Meiosis ensure the production of, this is the question, ensure the production of haploid phase in the life cycle of sexually reproducing organism where is fertilize and restore the diploid phase. Okay. It, it restored diploid phase and the meiosis reduced ensure the haploid phase. So haploid, diploid, haploid, diploid. this number one option here next question meiosis involved two sequential cycle of two cycle of nuclear division and only single cycle of dna replication so our option will be this one nuclear and dna replication nuclear dna replication this one is matching. Identify stages with correct description. Which one is showing the correct description? Here is the substrate of prophase one. And these are the characters. Dikinesis. The compaction of chromosome continues throughout this stage. Diplotene, the beginning of this stage is recognized by the dissolution of the synaptonemal complex. Yes, there, that's why synaptonemal complex, this uh, dissolve, and that's why the homologous chromosome, which were in pair, now this chromosome will start separation. So this one will be the correct one. Leptotene chromosome start pairing. No, this is um, no pairing at this stage. Leptotene only appearance. Packeting, it represent transition to metaphase. No, packeting is not the transition of metaphase. Transition of metaphase is dikinesis. That is the last stage of prophase. So here our answer is this one only the correct option because in the diplotene, in the packetin crossing over has taken place, the, this synaptonemal complex which was keeping the homologous chromosome together, now this has dissolved and so the homologous chromosome move apart and that is why the chiasmata is visible 
okay so today up to here in the next class